Hello, this is Jan from the University of Westphalia in Gelsenkirchen. Today I'm going to show you how to use Eclipse with ROS. So, at first, of course, you have to download Eclipse at www.eclipse.org slash downloads or you can download it from your local repository. Afterwards, we have to make it executable and then we are going to create our, our own ROS package which we can use in Eclipse. And after this, we are going to um, have a look at Hello World, our first Hello World program in Eclipse and ROS. Good. And first thing, open your web browser and type www.eclipse.org slash downloads and download the Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers. Good. I won't guide you totally through the installation, but if you've do when you've downloaded it, when if you've downloaded it, um, your um, Eclipse, it will be um, um, a tar.gz um, file, and then you have to type in tar. Sorry, x v f z, and then your file name. Then it will extract your um, all the data onto your onto your hard disk. Good. After this, you have to open your terminal window, or I presume you've already got it open when you you've used tar. If you if you have untarred your um, your file, and then you have to type in. At first, I will, because I won't use the whole Eclipse. Then you have to type in um, sudo mv, then your directory, and then you have to copy it to slash opt. This the reason for this is because we want um, we want Eclipse to be executable. And obviously, I have already Eclipse installed on my computer, and I will just show this to you um, with a test directory. So, type in your password, and then you should have a new directory in your slash opt directory. Good. Otherwise, you can download it from your repository. Just type in sudo apt-get install eclipse. Good. But the thing is, if you download it from your repository, you have to um, install a C, C++ add-on. Please keep this in mind. Now, we will f um, I hope you already have your working directory installed from our last tutorial. So, change directory to your working directory. And then we can create our package. Was create package like you've seen in the last tutorial. Was create package followed by the package name. I will just call it test and then followed by our dependencies we need. Good. If you see this, then your package has been created successfully. You can see it here too. Test. Good. After this, please change directory into your package and type make eclipse slash project. You can use tab for autocomplete. The reason we are doing this is because we want our um, package to be comfortable with eclipse. This looks good. So, after this you can open a new terminal and to run Eclipse just type in Eclipse into your terminal window and then Eclipse should start straight away. Now you can change you can have a look which working directory uh, which working space you want and you want don't want to be ever asked again. Press OK. Now we are going to import our package into Eclipse. Good. To do this, we could press File, Import, C, C++, oh no, sorry, 
general exist and then existing projects into workspace. Press next, close, and then we are we are already in our working space because we told Eclipse we want this folder to be our working space. Press test, and then OK. And really important, you have to type make Eclipse project before you'd import your project into Eclipse because otherwise it won't be found by Eclipse. So, now press finish. Good. Right, the next thing what we will do is we will create our own source data. Right mouse click on source, then new, and then we want a source file. Let's call it because our project is called test test.cpp. Oh, sorry, cpp, of course. Call that C file. Good. Then press finish. And here we are. So, to, t to do a hello world, we will need to include some data. We will need to the stdio.h, standard input output. And we will need stdlib.h. These are the two header files we will need. Good. And then just main. If you have any troubles with programming in C, C, then please look up some var various tutorials on the internet. Printf hello world. Backslash n. Good. This looks alright then so far. The next thing what you have to do is you have to edit a file called cmakelist.txt. Type in gedit or any other text editor you like cmakelist.txt. You can use tab again for autocomplete. Here at the bottom you can see a line cross build add executable. We have to add executables to create binaries or that our our um, package can um, run our executable now. So uncommented and type here for example source test you can give it any name you like and then the path to our C++ file we just created in Eclipse. This should be source and then our name in our case test.cpp. Good. So again, use this line rosbild add executable and give it a name you like for your executable and then the path to your source file. Save it and close it again. Now you can type ros make and then your package name. Ros make uses make and if you done everything right, then you will have zero failures. In your package you can see a directory called bin for binary. You can change directory here and have a look and it says here source test. This is exactly the binary or executable we just created. Or ros make just created and we told ros make where our source files are. Good. Next thing is press the right mouse button on your project and then here run as and then run configurations. Double click here on CC++ configuration and then search project. Nothing found so press browse in your working directory bin and give it the binary source test. And now you can press apply and either close it or run it straight away. We can run it straight away and have a look what happens. And here it says hello world. Really good, isn't it? So now you can use Eclipse with ROS. It's really comfortable because of course you can um, program your code in um, for example gedit but it's much more useful and helpful using Eclipse. 
Good. What you have to understand here, or what is really important, after you created your package, type in make Eclipse project so that your that Eclipse knows that your package is comfortable with Eclipse. And before you use Rosmake, um, you have to create your executable or tell um, Rosmake where your where your um, C++ files is in the CMake list you've just seen. Good. This is it for today. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.